the learner centric mooc model that we have discussed in this course has been used by instructors to create their online courses or moocs they have used it either partially or fully or even sometimes by tweaking the elements little bit to suit their requirements it was therefore we introduced the concept of lcm light where the instructors can actually design their own elements keeping the learner centric approaches intact in this series of videos we are going to interview those instructors who have successfully implemented partial or full lcm model and created their course these courses have been extremely successful and have been found useful by the learners and therefore we decided to talk to them about what was their application what was their modification and overall experience of implementing the elements of lcm model in their course let's have a look uh first of all thank you so much for uh, giving me this opportunity to share my experiences of uh, adoption of lcm model in my two of the courses and out of these courses the first course that uh, we launched on digital marketing it is available on swine and the second course uh, that we launched it is available on commonwealth of learners platform which component from the lcm model did you and your team incorporate in your course and why uh no if you frankly ask me that out of uh, all the components of uh, lcm model which component is uh, or the which component to be used in our courses uh now you see all the components of uh, lcm model are quite uh, interesting and uh, very useful to create the learner centricity um but the component that we used uh, most in our courses it is the first one that is led now led uh, we know that it's a learning dialog where you simply try to put the reflection spot in your videos and the instructor he used to ask the question uh, to the students uh, in a recorded form and uh, he paused the video for a, some period and expecting that what the responses uh, he will get after that he tend to uh, you can say give the answer give the answer to the questions in a in in a right format now why we used uh, this uh, component most in our courses uh, now you see uh, when i was just uh, recording my videos for the first course so there i always uh, found a gap uh that what or the way i used to teach in our offline classes it was not sim replicable or i was not able to replicate the same you can say flow in my video recordings so i explored a number of uh, ways that how we can you can say connect directly with the audience but uh, thanks to dr samir's team uh that they introduced us with this lcm model and more specifically uh this reflection spot to so after that we started uh, using the reflection spot in our videos uh which we found which we found that it's very innovative way to ask the questions uh, to the student when you are recording the videos how did this component fit in your course considering its nature and your teaching style uh yeah it is a very relevant question uh generally the style which i have in my offline classes so it is something like this one that when i go to the class so i tend to ask the question to bring the curiosity amongst the students about the topic that we are going to discuss however when we just i just recorded the videos so i found that this part is missing i am not able to start with or start in the same way the way i was used to start in my offline classes 
So as I earlier told you that I tried and I tried to explore that is there any way that we can ask the questions to the students while recording the videos. So, but uh, there was no platform at that point of time which uh, we could use. But this uh, LCM model gave us a very, uh, you can say, innovative idea that how you can insert the reflection spot in your educational videos. So now this is uh, the great way that we are, you can say, I, I'm following my uh, natural teaching style when even I'm recording the videos. So there we tend to ask the question uh, either in the beginning or somewhere in between the videos. Online course development is both fun and challenging. How did adoption and adaptation of the LCM model for your MOOC add to the fun or the challenges? Yes, uh, you are absolutely right. Uh, developing an online course is both the fun as well as a challenge. And similarly, we have also taken, when we adapted the LCM model in our courses, we have taken it as a both fun as well as a challenge. Uh, the first part that I would like to talk about, it is the challenge uh, that to be faced while adopting the LCM model in our courses. Uh, now you see, as I earlier told you, that uh, when first time we were introduced about this LCM model, and uh, more than 70% of my first course was already recorded. But I found it so useful and uh, I was just thinking about that how this LCM model can be implemented uh, in those component or in that part of the course which we have already recorded. So what I did, uh, that although it was very challenging one, so I just decided to re-record the videos just to incorporate the reflection spot in those videos. So that way it was a bit uh, challenging in, in that, that part. Now, even at present, uh, it's not that easy that you can, uh, you can say, blindly insert wherever you want the reflection spot in your videos. So complete thought process goes behind it. You have to, while writing the script, you have to keep in mind the, you can see the component that you are discussing in the course or at which level you are discussing it and then the lot of planning goes into this one that what can be the reflection spot what the question you will ask there and at which point of time you have to ask this question so that way it is uh, all the time all the time that uh, something goes into mind while writing a script that how and where we can insert that uh, reflection spot uh, the second part that yes it is it is a yes it is fun uh, fun in a way that you are getting a lot of compliments when somebody is watching your videos and he generally see that okay you have asked the question somewhere in between the videos so simply they ask us that they just tell us that from where you got this idea because it, it seems to be very interesting very you can say engaging one. So that way we feel that uh, it, it's fun. And moreover, uh, because uh, fun in a way that now every time I start recording a video, uh, I first plan for this one that uh, where we can insert the reflection spot in this one. Uh, but not only the reflection spot, but if you talk about the other uh, you can say component of uh, LCM model like LBD is there, LXI is there or LXT is there. So even there uh, you can say uh, the lot of uh, planning goes to this one that how and which LBD is more important as far as your relevant content is concerned. Mm -hmm. So this way we are, we are enjoying uh, this one and uh, we are getting also amazing result because of uh, implementation of LCM model. Thank you.